Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle DFE TUR tier list. Yes, so we're going to be rating every single um, DFE TUR that has released. Uh, now, I've only been playing since year 7, so <laughs> so we're, we're realistically only going to be rating like half of these units. I'm going to be honest with you. If I haven't used them, I'm not going to put a rating on them, obviously. And uh, we're going to be incorporating them in their EZA format, of course. Um, so, yeah. Let's hop into this and start this tier list, boys. Let's freaking go. So, yeah. I'm going to throw units that I've never used in the never used, don't own. I started playing during 7th anniversary. All right. So, what I can rank, I'm proud of. It doesn't exist in my game yet. <laughs> yet. All right. Honestly, you know, this is this is a solid list to rank. I can live with that. Let's dive into this, boys. The Mr. Wobble Wobble approved 7th anniversary starter knowledge set. Wait, no, hold on. Yes. Uh, yes, I have the knowledge of a 7th anniversary player. Let's freaking get it. I actually don't, though. I have the knowledge of the joined brains of many, many players over the years, thanks to Twitch chat and TikTok chat. So, so starting off with Vegeta here, um, this unit actually... love this unit. I love this unit. This unit carried me so hard in Dokkan events when I first started. I'm putting him in S tier almost. He's kind of an S tier DFE. Maybe we're setting the par bar too high. Isn't it 80 to 90? He's nuts, dude. Like, he just... He just carried me man he just carried me um no we are ranking them by skill it's not favorites i don't want to show favoritism just because their animations are dope for example i don't want to put them above tech gohan you know what i mean don't get me wrong boys this this list is also subject to change as we go um just keep that in mind all right agl 17 this guy got an easy a and he is an l bro this guy is a fucking l i, I thought he was going to be awesome i easy a'd him Expecting him to be a W with this unit, but he's just an L. C is like still usable, but it's like, come on, man, you're falling off or something. But L, this guy's an L. If you're putting Vegeta in A, then he has to go in A as well. You're crazy, Peter. I'm debating putting him in C or not. <laughs> a. <laughs> Bro. Man, you're crazy. He ain't the greatest, personally, a D-tier pig. Do we need a D-tier? Do we need a D-tier? Alright, 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 alright. We're, we're settling with both of them at B. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. We've got Gohan. This guy's actually kind of a go. I'm gonna put him... I'm gonna put him in A-tier, honestly. This guy's actually really good. You do need a little bit of luck. You do need some really good things to go well. He might even be S-tier, but... Honestly, like, these tiers are reserved for broken characters you know what i mean but he this guy's awesome turles god if 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 we're really talking about a really good situation and things are going right he is a good support you know what i mean it's just it from my experience i never get to see him transform okay maybe he's like a b tier actually all allies keep us there i got i thought he was doing more for the team i'm gonna put him also we're gonna do our best to rank within the tier as well you know what I mean? So, like, I think he's the top of B right now. I think he's the top of B. Because, realistically, if even if everything goes great and you get this off, you know, it's not, like, really super worth it. It is, but it is. And we're going to put him at top of B. I like it. I like it. That's what we're doing. Top of B. Because, remember, we still have the C tier. We still have the D tier. And you can even be in the fucking L tier. If we're setting standards, let's set standards. Please. Z plus, that's right. We do need a Z plus tier just for him. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I will delete this. I don't think we need an L tier. I think L is disrespectful because none of these units are L's. I'm sure some of these are, but I've never used them. So yeah, I don't think we need an L tier. I think D can exist though. All right, well we're just gonna go as we go. All right, Vegeta, Evo Vegeta. We're gonna put him in C. Don't get me wrong. This unit isn't the best, but. I'm gonna admit this guy is one of he's my one of my best tournament of power units, right? Especially Universe Seven at the moment. Um, when you transform, he can get up to a seventy-five percent chance to crit or something. He's not bad at all. Um, don't get me wrong, he's nothing insane, but he's not bad and unusable. Again, I, I'd take him over, take him over Goku and Frieza. I feel like, right? Physical Gohan, physical Gohan. Um, this guy's an S tier damage reduction that stacks. Um, ooh, what's this fire? Hold up. Oh my god. Explosive Chain Battle OST? <laughs> Hold up. 
<laughs> Anyways, I'm definitely going S tier for Gohan. He's he's awesome. Damage reduction. Um, yeah, he he he's clutch. Gohan Gohan's a clutch. He's awesome. 100. percent Oh, Peter, did you you knew it? You knew, dude. This is this is fire, bro. This is heat. Oh my god. All right, uh, next one up. Puddlehan goes crazy. <laughs> All right. Tech STR, or not Tech STR, Tech Super Saiyan 4, Easy A Goku. Um, hold on, wait, I'm not leaving him there, I'm just lowering the music. I think I'm gonna put him a, I'll put him at, I'll put him at bottom of S. I'll put him at bottom of S, because again, if we're talking, I, we, we did this on the last tier list, if we're talking like everything's going right, you've got his full kit in action, you know what I mean? I think everything's. I think he's really solid because he's a scouter, bro, and he's got pretty solid attack and defense, dude. I haven't used him too much to be 100% honest with you, but A at best, you think he's pretty nice. Don't get me wrong, I was debating better than Gohan and A. I was debating it. We'll leave him there for now. We might move him up. I will. I, he's definitely somewhere in there because I'm telling you, man, that scouter is a game-changing ability. You guys don't understand. If you get that scouter off, like, well, if you ever get a scouter off, it's just the best thing. Um, all right, let's get it. Let's get it. And then we have Tech Frieza. Oh, I can put this guy at B. Doesn't he have, like, damage reduction as he transforms and stuff? I can put this guy at B. Um, maybe even above Turles, potentially. All in all, in the end, Frieza, he builds up with damage reduction and stuff. I know he's easy aid, though. Yeah, like, he's not terrible. The, the, the thing about units that we need to consider as well is, are they easy aid, right? Like, if you're easy aid, and you're already in B, that's horrible. <laughs> that's that's terrible, you know what I mean? Um, and that's what all these units are, right? Is Turles easy aid? Yeah, he is, right, right. Yeah, so you know what I mean? I mean, they are DFE TURs, to be fair. Yo, what's going on, uh, DOQ? But we are starting from the earlier units, pro, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, actually. Um... What type is that S-tier Gohan? This is a physical Gohan. Physical uh, future Gohan. We're, I, I'm going to sprinkle in my bias, but we're going for a proper tier list as well. Then we have Boo. This Boo is actually pretty good. I haven't used him a ton. But again, we're talking best case scenario and his full potential. That Piccolo transformation is wild, man. Is it Gohan? Is Gohan his best transformation? Again, I haven't used this unit like a ton. Um, plus an additional defense by, oh my god, by up to 120 Gs, okay. High chance of guarding, starting from the 7th turn, oh interesting. Uh, it launches an additional attack and high chance of becoming a super attack and great chance. But I really like the Piccolo, doesn't he have like insane damage reduction and stuff? But yeah, this guy's sick, dude. Reduce damage received by 50% as the first or second slot attacker. A second attacker? That's kind of crazy. Yeah, I, I want to put this guy in S tier. His his easy A is fire. He's a newer unit. He he's an S tier unit. He's an S tier unit for sure. And I haven't even used him too much uh, on the right team, dude. He's an S tier for sure. Oh man, the 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 arguable metal cooler, the infamous metal cooler. By the way, for anyone that sees me drop units in here, I have to put them there to like move the list up. I think. Oh, never mind. I don't ignore me. Um. Man, where do we put this man? Is he an A or is he an S tier? Is he an A or is he an S tier? I I, I want to put him in A, but I feel like people would argue that he's an S tier. I, I like A. I think he's a really good A character. S is like you have the potential for red zone like anything almost. Well, okay. I shouldn't say that. Let's not be too specific on what the tiers are, but <laughs> yes. That's where I'm putting him. I like him. Haven't used him too much, but from what I've seen, he's just really, really good. He's not... I mean, let's be real, man. It really just seems like damage reduction is going to play a huge part in you being up here right now. Because that's just what the meta is at the moment, right? That's just kind of how it works. Um, and, I mean, a, a lot of the units do kind of get damage reduction on their easy A's, huh? To keep, them, to keep them alive, I imagine. To add to their little defense. That's pretty cool. But yeah, damage reduction is going to be a big part of things. But, I mean, he does a lot. He is sick. Uh, but damage reduction is a big deal for sure. Alright. Ooh. AGL. Easy A. 
Ooh, do we throw him in Z tier? Do we do we do we do it? He's definitely a Z tier, right? He's definitely a Z tier, man. If he's dodging and he's able to eat some normals after supering. A little scary, a little scary before you transform, I'll be 100% honest, but man, once you get this blue form, once you get this blue form, you're gr oh yeah, that's right, he greatly stacks, actually, I forgot that was even a thing. Can you tell that I've been playing since year 7 and that I also don't read, because I'm a Dragon Ball fan? He greatly raises for 4 turns, that's right, that's so sick, he does a mini stack. We're gonna go Z tier, we're gonna go Z tier. Ah, uh, but there are some other Z tiers that I guess he can't compare to. Fine, I'll put him top of S tier. When you really look at what Z tier is gonna be, you gotta you gotta admit it. Um, Easy A Broly. This guy's uh this guy's an S tier, right? Uh, well, S because he has like a transformation and stuff. He's great for a world tournament. I mean, he's mostly just an A O E though. Is he an A tier or an S tier? Two hundred percent additional attack, high chance for a super. Plus an additional four, oh my god, dude, wow, when facing one enemy, he gets 200 additional attack, wow. Launches additional super attack in which his character performs a third super attack in battle. Yeah, we can put this guy S tier. I mean, come on, right? This guy's sick. S tier for sure. Kid Goku. Int Kid Goku. Um, I'm gonna put this guy B tier, because he's not, like, insane, but he's not bad by any means. He's not terrible. Honestly, A, he's better than STR Gohan. Oof. Oof, I don't know about that. That's kind of crazy. He's not bad. He's not bad. I'm going to put him top of B. He's, he's, the leading, he's the leading unit for Bs. He does damage, and he has pretty good defense. All right, next up. Ooh, all right, we're diving into the newest Easy A's on Dokkan at the moment. Easy A Tech Trunks, man. Easy A Tech Trunks. Obviously, he's not Z tier. Let's be real. He's not. He's not the best of the best in the game. He's definitely S tier, though. He's definitely S tier. I'll put him... I'll put him under Gogeta because Gogeta is more liable in, like... He's more viable. Like, Gogeta's actually a red zone unit, whereas Trunks, you need to be in long events, and Trunks just needs to not get, not get caught. I'm going to put him under Gogeta, but... Besides that, definitely top of S tier. I love him. Can't incorporate that into this, though, because then you could just say that about every character. Well, if you just weast for the first four turns for him, you'd be fine, too, right? You get all that build up. You know what I mean? He can get caught so bad, unfortunately. Like, I'll be real. This is a Z tier Easy A. This is a Z tier Easy A. This man stacks, and he can't get caught. This man can get caught, but he's so fucking awesome and fun. And once you get that nuke going, you're insane. Um, man, we we put this guy on our last tier list, and it was a little controversial. Where did we where do we place this unit? He's definitely not B. There's no way he's B. But like, I don't think he's better than Gohan, right? Because I've had runs where I can't even fucking transform with this guy, dude. It takes too long to build, medium chance to do anything, it's just straight up painful, bro. I'm gonna be honest, man, I think he's unfortunately low A. I'm glad, I'm, I'm not throwing him down into the B bin. The B bin, oh no. Um, okay, next one is STR Easy A Cooler. I remember when I, when I started playing last year during, it was my first worldwide, and everyone was losing their minds that this guy was Easy a -ing. Um, I think at the moment he can, he can easily slip himself right into S tier up here, right? Because I've seen him cook, bro. Once he transforms, dude, this guy is, uh, he's pretty much a beast. Hold on, I want to reread his kit. 50% attack and defense and two key when facing two enemies, that's, or one enemy. For your transformation boost, that's great, man. And then he's uh, stacking defense, which is fantastic. And then you transform. And two attacks each to the medium chance, chance of critting. Plus 10 per rainbow, interesting. I mean, yeah. Oh, man, maybe not S tier. Relooking at his kit. Hmm. God Goku will be back in October, confirmed confirmed by Peter. He works for Dokkan, guys, so. Super Boo's better than Cooler. Don't let the fools fool you. I know, right? I don't want to look like an idiot on YouTube. This is going on YouTube, by the way, guys. So let's not uh let's not let's not play dumb. Alright, this is what we're doing. We're we're leaving it as is for now, but obviously subject to change. Obviously subject to change. Alright, here we go. 
Um, we're gonna go with STR Kaioken Goku now. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, I mean, there's no question, right? There's no question he's a Z tier. If we're talking best case scenario and you've got your, your best Universe 7 team, definitely a Z tier. I think our Z tier is looking very appropriate at the moment. AGL Bardock. God, I love this unit, man. Obviously, currently... Obviously, currently, he sits somewhere in the B tier, but man, you guys just wait for this dude's easy A. You guys just wait. Is he that bad? Is he like a C tier, low-key? He's actually not the worst character in the game. Um, oh, I guess, I mean, we actually might have been in the Wicked Bloodline event, I'm not even going to lie. But you transform... Oh my god, dude. This is before easy a guys. This is crazy. 180 attack... 100 defense, effective against all types, against extreme class, chance of performing a crit, and evading, plus 18, and reduces damage by 18. This is before easy aim for 5 turns, obviously. What the... I cannot wait for this monstrosity to easy A, bro. Alright, we'll leave him in C. Tech boos. Tech boos. They're due for an easy A. Definitely. They're going to be a pretty good EZA, though, because I remember this actually still looks decent. Yeah, 50% damage reduction. Oh. Just no defense. Greatly raises attack. Wow. This is actually not the worst character. I'm going to put him... Could be cooking, and that's going to be sick, because I have him rainbowed. Both of these units are going to have insane EZAs. What are we thinking for him? Is he actually, like, a decent B character? Once he's fully transformed, he's not the worst. What is the condition, though? Um, fourth turn? That's it? Oh, wow. Reduce damage received by 40%. High chance of stunning. I guess I'm on the, the damage reduction copium. I'll, I'll be the first to say it. Uh, but they he greatly raises attack. Uh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm on the damage reduction copium. I won't lie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I won't lie. I'm on the damage reduction copium. All right, let's move on. Um, let's go with, he, has, he just has no defense. Um, let's go with tech, oh my god, dude. Isn't this crazy? This, this man is still S tier, right? Where is this man, though? Where is this man? Is he right here? This man is still S tier, right? S tier, for sure. I love this Gohan. Oh my god, this man is a legend, dude. When I started playing last year, everyone fucking... Oh man, yeah, I have Tech Gohan, I'm fine. Oh, Cell Max, yeah, I have Tech Gohan. Oh yeah, Tech Gohan. Dude, the amount of times an event would drop and someone asked me, Oh bro, why don't you just use your Tech Gohan? I'm like, who the fuck is Tech Gohan, bro? And then I finally pulled him and now I have him at 90%. The Dude, the man, the myth, the literal legend, dude. It is going to be the wildest EZA ever. The, like, this has to be one of the most anticipated EZAs in Dokkan, right? Physical Frieza. This man needs an easy A, but he's not bad, especially for, especially for like a tournament of power unit. Especially, I like I like him in A tier. Yeah, I like Frieza more than this Namek Goku for sure. And I would not put Frieza with these bozos. Yeah, I like I like Frieza right here for sure. I do think Gohan again. A lot of these units, I really want to think of them in their best situation. Their high chances are popping off. Medium chance, you know, at least with the 50-50, we can debate there's a 50-50 chance it could go off. Medium chance, I can't really, I can't defend medium guard. <laughs> Ooh, next on the tier list, we're getting into some really sick units, guys. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, this unit still does pretty well. Uh, what's going on, uh, Teak Walkman? Uh, where would we put this Gogeta, man? Like, he's not insane, like, he's not Gohan broken, but he has not fallen off terribly at all, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think mid is pretty solid. I don't think he... I think this... I think this, this, this Goku is essentially a better pick than him, because of, like, uh, scouting and stuff, you know? <clears throat> Alright, um, next up... Ooh, Int Broly. This guy's a pretty big W. I almost want to put him low S right next to the... Honestly, I think he fits perfectly right, right, right next to this other Broly. Is he better than this other Broly? Because I know he stacks and he has damage reduction slightly. Is he better than physical Broly EZA? I want to say so, huh? Which is crazy, dude. Looking at this list, like, seeing units that haven't EZA'd 
being above other easy aid units, especially like recent ones. That's crazy, dude. That's awesome. I think I think I like that. I think that I like that placement for Broly because he stacks. He has the uh, he can super a lot. He has damage reduction in his kit. I think he's pretty good. I think he's pretty good. I think he can debatably go lower. All right, next up we've got, ooh, the GT units. Okay, these guys helped me out a lot. These were units I used a ton when I first started playing. Unfortunately, all they are is damage dealers, but holy crap, they deal damage. I mean, I think the Vegeta's a bit more defensive, isn't he? I can go, do we go above full power here? That might be a little crazy, I don't know. He does change key spheres, man, and that is a great thing to have. I'm going to go above Gogeta, I think, because he essentially does, well, he doesn't, Gogeta can nullify super attacks, damn. Maybe I'll put him above Gohan. That's that's debatable. That's debatable, because, man, changing key spheres is so solid, and he can, he can nuke, he can do some damage. I like that, though, behind Gogeta, mid A, I think we can do that. Vegeta, into Vegeta, now, he's honestly, I'll just put him right next to him, honestly. Because he essentially does what the Goku does, but with defense. I almost want to say he's slightly better in that aspect than like today's meta, you know? Because he builds up a lot of defense from Key Spheres, right? He potentially can. I almost want to put him just slightly... But the Goku can do so much damage, though. Hmm. That's debatable. But I think either way, having them next to each other is perfect. They're tied for whatever, whatever you want to view that as. AGL Kid Gohan. Um, I haven't used this unit too much, but from what I've seen in his kit, he does quite a bit. Let me pull him up again. I remember we, we've used him on some things, because he was the only, like, kid gone we had for a while. And we needed him for certain units. Like the, uh, World Tournament go uh, Piccolo. Yeah, I mean, he's not doing much, honestly. He's buffing defense for his team, which is cool. His active is clutch, though. Oh, yeah! What is his active? Isn't it damage reduction for the team or something? I forgot. What is that? Oh, it's, he guards and he raises defense for two turns. Ooh, that is crazy. That is a crazy active that I forgot about. Again, I, I admit I haven't used him too much. We'll, we'll keep him right here. All right. AGL Trunks. I mean, what is this unit's purpose anyways? Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think we uh, I think we drop our boy a little bit here. I think I'd rather have Bardock, honestly. I think I'd rather have Bardock. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I think I'd rather have the booze. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. Would I have? Would I rather have the booze? <laughs> I don't know. Kind of power crept when he was debuted. That's crazy. Yeah, that's that's what Peter was saying. He so this guy released right before seventh anniversary, and that was it. Uh, that was it. <laughs> seventh anniversary changed everything. Um, oh yeah, D tier. That's right. <laughs> hey, round of applause for our first D tier unit, boys. Tech androids, 17 and 18. Uh, these guys are awesome. These guys are awesome. I will put these guys. Probably are they? They're. I feel like they are S tier. I feel like they are S tier because they're amazing, actually. Um, where in this tier do they go, though? Are they above? They're probably above cooler EZA, maybe. Because they do a lot, dude. They have a Ghost Usher. They change Key Spheres, which is really beneficial. They nullify Key Blast Supers. Um, oh, well, they... Oh, yeah, went above 35. That's great, dude. Nullifying Key Blast Super Attacks, guaranteed. Come on, man. With the free Ghost Usher, I like that. I like that. Great versatility. Yeah, I'll put him. I'll put him right here, right above cooler. Cause like uh, we're starting to get these events where they can be kind of, I guess, shorter. Like I don't know. Like you, you give one ghost usher and then rotate them off could be a game changer. You know what I mean? Like that's an insane ability to have. But and they're also not bad. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put them. This is essentially lower S tier at this point, right? Ooh, this is a W unit, but he's definitely not the craziest. We are going to put physical Super Saiyan 2, 3 Goku. Ah, oh, man. He's probably, like, right here. Because he does get, like, a lot of additionals, and he does crit like crazy. 
I think I want to put him in like A tier, possibly. Possibly, I want to say. He's not bad. Ah, uh, but these units do have more like versatility. Has he fallen off that much? High A works. I'm either this is the lowest I could see him, but I could also I could also see him being like this high almost. Three to three super attacks. I expected him to be okay, but man, he can get cooked in red zone. He really can, unfortunately. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's literally just a numbers game at this point. He can super three times, maybe even four somehow, which I don't think he can. And it's just not enough defense, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I'll put him right here. I'll put him right here. Because honestly, it, it really is like I put him next to these characters. I'm like, Gogeta, better. Gohan, the active is really good. Pretty good defense, key spheres. Key sphere changing, a good, really good attack. Uh, that's debatable. Man, I almost want to put Gohan above these two, actually. Maybe not, though. It, it gets a little iffy down here. It gets a little iffy down here, but I think I like that. STR Kid... Kid Boo. Um... I haven't used this unit too much, but he's definitely not, like, terrible by any means. I think he's, like, right under Gogeta, right? I haven't used him too much, but I do have him. And I know he doesn't have an easy A, which, again, is always a W. Oh wow, this guy's already a year old. Oh, he has a great chance to nullify unarmed supers, so that's always good. With his defense and stuff. Yeah, because he can get up to an additional 120. I'm down with it. I'm down with it. We'll leave him above GT. Alright, next up we have AGL Ginyu. AGL Ginyu. Oh, this guy's pretty insane, actually, man. This guy's actually pretty insane. Is this guy a bottom of S tier? Or is he our best A tier character? I feel like that's literally where he's gonna be. Well, no. Yeah. Is he better than the Broly's? Probably, right? That's pretty great, man. If all you need is Ginyu Force members, and you're doing pretty good. Medium chance of becoming a super, and then when you transform. High, he has this Chigan 4C. Wait, what's the 4C again? High chance to 4C when there's an ally who names Jace on the team. Ginyu is God you? Oof, I don't know about that. Better than both Broly's easily? I think so. Because he's got scouting. He's got... He's got chance to evade. And chance to crit. And really good defense. And t effective against all types. Wait, oh, and then he recovers the HP. Yeah, we'll put him We'll put him higher up for sure. We'll probably put him above Cooler. I think the 17 and 18 are all around better. Right? Does he stack? He stacks attack? Oh, man. I, as you guys can tell, I haven't used this unit too much, but I do want to use it. I need to use him more. We, we're, we're doing... Oh, he stacks defense? Oh, dude, we might need to do a Ginyu Force stream, boys. We might need to do a Ginyu Force stream. I clearly have not used this guy too much. All right, Majin Vegeta. Int Majin Vegeta. I mean, with a Trunks, even without a Trunks, with his keys here changing, this guy's pretty insane. Um, I think I can safely place him. I mean, if we're talking with a Trunks unit, man, he's doing really damn good. If we're talking with a Trunks unit, he's doing insane. And again, even without a Trunks, he's doing pretty good. Um... I almost want to put, like, because, again, if we're talking with it, it's crazy how with or without a Trunks, you know what I mean? With a Trunks, though, this guy's pretty crazy. Man, this S tier is getting iffy, but I think I like that. I think I like that. I think, obviously, yeah, man, I think, yeah, I think the cooler copium is a bit too high. As much as I like him, he is a year old, you know what I mean? The easy A is a year old. He does stack defense, though, which is nice. Oh, I'll put him above Gohan. Right? Will I? Yeah. Alright, we're doing that. We're doing that. I like it. I like it. Alright, we're sticking to it. Next up. Ooh, dude, I really like this unit, man. I really like this unit, and I just rainbowed them. God, and then when you transform with Gohan, I'm gonna put him above Boo. Ah, oh, dude, I kinda wanna put him above Ginyu. That's crazy. Is that crazy? I think that's perfect. And his he's not bad when he's 
Goku as well because you have the high chance to evade after supering as well as stacking um, attack. And then you transformed into Gohan and this guy is awesome, man. Alright, I think we're going to put him above Ginyu because, yeah, realistically, high chance to evade, high chance to super attack, or not super attack, high chance to uh, scout, they're great, but they don't have anything on, like, the attack and defense that this Gohan puts up with guard, you know what I mean? Guaranteed. So, I'm going to put the Gohan above the Ginyu, I think. Alright, next up is AGL Cell. Uh, when this guy's fully transformed and built up, he's awesome. However, he's... At any... At no point is he, like, mon... I mean, he's pretty monstrous. Hold on, what is he doing in his final form? Let me pull that up. Yeah, it's just 35% chance to evade. High chance of launching additional... I mean, he has a lot of attack and defense, and he's stacking up until his transformation, but I do admit, yeah, he, he, I, I've more than anything, he's just there to, like, link up with my int EZA, that's what I've mostly used him for, so yeah, I'll, I will put him above, like, the 17 and 18, though, because he is pretty good, like, he does, he is good, like, there's no question, he is good. Alright, Int, Goku, and Vegeta. Oh man, controversial DFE release, bro. It's so sad that we're dropping them in A, dude. God, this is so sad, man. This is like a 2022 unit, right? Jeez, bro. B tier? Okay, they're not that bad. <laughs> I'm intervening. I'm using my one. I'm using my one B tier. <laughs> really, dude? Oh, they're, are they that ter- Hi, right? Thank you, Beetle. They're not that bad. They're not horrendous. I'm not putting them in B. Look at B tier, damn it. I'm not putting them in B. I'm not putting them in B. I can put them under Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, but they're not that bad, guys. No. They're so bad. AGL Super 17 is bad. <laughs> so he stacks attack, uh, just stacks attack. Um, he does get attack and defense per super, though. Alright. Oh, man. They don't do anything, bro. <laughs> they don't do anything, bro. He changes key spheres when you transform or exchange. And then, for three turns, this unit is an unfortunate one. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't want to do it, though, man. Oh, they don't do anything, bro. <laughs> and this is what we have to go. We, have down, we are down to the final. Is it seven or eight units? Eight more units to go, boys. Um, all right, so let's get into it. So, GT Pan. Oh, man. I'll be honest. This, this unit was a letdown. Uh, I was really excited for... I thought it was going to be like a first slot GT unit. And I mean, she she's supposed to be, uh, but she can stack attack and defense. She can stack attack pretty well. She can greatly raise attack, which is good. But there's that's just no way that that justifies everything else in her kit, right? Fifty percent chance or fifty percent damage reduction before attacking. Oh man. Oh, and you have to be in the first slot. Ugh. Pen's not terrible. At the end of the day, she's probably better than this Gogeta, right? Right? Or, do, right? I think, I mean, realistically, she's not a bad unit. She's just built terribly and not how we'd want. Next up, we have Physical Kid Goku. Now, so for anyone who doesn't know, I actually coined this unit. And he's awesome, but I don't think he's coin level. I'll be real. He's definitely S tier. He's definitely S tier, but I don't think he's coin level. I feel like, and I'm not saying people above him are coin level. Like, I don't think they are, but probably right there. Because he is insane, dude. Like, he literally gives his turn, like, the units on his team damage reduction. And, that, and that's another thing is he leads a really solid leader skill to the point where you can have two of them. And then you have a rotation where you have two Gokus who are getting... Eight key spheres, right? Yeah, yeah, or seven key spheres, both of them, and then now your that turn has 16% damage reduction every unit. 
that's pretty crazy, bro. Like, like he is great. It's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I coined him, and like, yeah. As the events get tougher, he's just staying where he is. You know what I mean? But he, he's he's awesome. I like him. But that, that's a great way to put it. The power creep's a little too intense for him. God, this might be one of my favorite Z tier. This guy's still this this guy's Z tier still, right? He's still he's still holding up pretty solid, right? I haven't even used Gamma's in a bit. I haven't used Gamma's in a little bit, but Gamma he's still doing amazing, right? My boy's still doing good. 50% damage reduction. Guarding for the first four turns. Gamma 2, you need dupes on. I feel like Gamma 1, you can fucking fry at 55%. Gamma 2, however, I have Gamma my, I have the opposite. I have a rainbow Gamma 1. And I have a 55% Gamma 2, and I can feel the difference for sure, man. You know what I mean? His When you don't additional with Gamma 2, it's rough. It, it, it's rough. Um, he's a little cheeks, but he is, like, S-tier, because he can fry, man. Especially because, like, you just put them next to each other, and he turns into a whole other unit. I think I'll put him right here. I think he's S-tier. He's definitely not a bad guy. Like, just because he's a bad guy doesn't mean he's a bad guy. Uh, DBS Broly is absolutely not better than Super Saiyan 2, 3, Namigoku, or... What? Dude, no way. Dragon Ball Super Broly is great, man. Are you talking about the physical, or are you talking about the... Oh, wait, that's Z Broly. What am I saying? I mean, if I looked at his transformation. It's actually pretty solid. His EZA is not bad. Maybe he could drop, be dropped on the list. We did rank him pretty early on. I'll admit, he's a world tournament unit, but... He's not a bad unit by any means, in my opinion. High chance of becoming a super attack. Like, he's nothing too crazy before transforming, but when he transforms, he's got 400% attack and defense. Or attack, I mean, and then 300% defense. I guess that's nothing too insane. I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. But I wouldn't drop him too low into the A's. His easy A's nuts, though, dude. He's not bad. I'll admit, dude, no, these these units have fallen off a little bit. These units are struggling. But I'll admit, Broly is kind of like a high A. I think we can drop him out of S tier. I can admit that. I can admit that. He's just big numbers, but he's really big numbers, you know? Namek, you might be C. Uh, he's probably not A tier, huh? Oh god, dude, if we start shuffling units around, this is gonna get messy, boys. I think we leave it how it is. If we start shuffling units, this is gonna get messy. I don't know, his chance to guard is scary. I know, dude, medium chance to guard is crazy, bro. I'll drop him to medium, but he really isn't a terrible unit. Again, I really, when we started this tier list, we, had, we gotta remember, we're thinking about these units, hopefully in their best case scenarios. And if you stack, if you're getting that guard off, he's not bad. But yeah, medium chance to guard is a terrifying thing. We can drop him to B, though. We can make those small changes, make it look a little better. STR, 17s, oh man. So again, if we're talking situational and everything is going right, and we're in like a super class event, they are pretty nuts, dude. Like, I could probably put them right here. <sighs> Let's look at them, because they do a lot, man. They do a lot, if especially once you transform, dude. But, like, the thing is, you do need super class enemies for a lot of it. But, yeah, you have a chance to evade and chance to crit per super. Um, you get an additional super straight up if it's a super class enemy for four turns. Um, and then when you transform, he is actually pretty, pretty monstrous. Um, he can reduce damage received by 34% on top of an additional 34%, I believe it is. Where's that? So he's building up defense. I guess he loses his damage. I don't know. He seems like a pretty awesome unit, though. 4C super attacks. I'm not going to rank him too high, but he seems pretty good. Takes forever to get super 17 and 10 hits. That is true. The worst part about his kit is that you have to wait until turn 5 to transform. If you can, right? HP-wise. And then, on turn 5, you're finally transformed. Now, you can try to receive 10 attacks in battle, bro. That's very true. That's a really good point. That's a really good point. Um, 
I think they're good there. Maybe we'll put him under Vegeta. Is he better than Cooler? Are they better than Cooler? So situational. I, I feel like he's better than Cooler, though. This Vegeta is honestly nuts, dude. All right, and then we got a... Oh, man, I mean... <laughs> we can almost do these all at once, but we're going to give them their own spotlights. Godku, one of my favorite units of the year. Period. Oh, my God. Godku, Godku, Godku. Definitely Z tier. Can't dethrone chat. It's definitely Godku Z tier. No question. This guy's leader skill is kit. His his transformation top of the Z. He's our best. He's one of our. He's our best. He's one. Yeah. He's our, he's our, he's one of our best. And then we have another Z tier Goku. Again, one of my favorite releases. These two caught me by surprise, boys. I did not expect my favorite, most clutch, most broken OP Goku units to drop right before anniversary. I did not expect them at all. These two Gokus. It, it's actually mind-blowing. I, I can't even think the differences in teams I would have had to make without these two units. It's actually crazy. Like, they, they their leader skills and what they can do with two of them on the team is just phenomenal. This Goku gets way too much hate. The fact that you can get all of his revive conditions with another revive on the team, on top of his revive being insane, if you can get it. Oh my god. Don't get me wrong. He takes a little bit of building up, but... Pro. <laughs> I love this man. Definitely my top twos right there. I think so. Z tier uh, is mad small. I mean, it's filling up right now because we got one more Z tier to throw in there. Majunior. Now, I'm going to be real. I am going to put Majunior under Goku. I don't know. I think this gets controversial, right? I think this gets controversial. I don't know, but... I think Goku's better, man. I think Goku's better, man. I think Goku's better because Goku, bro, the leader skill, the 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 uh, the revive, like the god Goku you can turn into. Whereas Majunior, like he's just OP, right? Like he doesn't turn into a god. What do you mean in versus supers after? What does that mean? The enemy can't super. Wait, really? Wait, where does it say that in his kit? I haven't seen that. Oh, that's for any giant transformation? Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> you guys are actually fucking with me. Somebody tell me they're capping. Please, there's no way I'm just learning this right now. I'm so upset that I... Why didn't you tell me this earlier, Peter? Why didn't I know this? Sin can't AO... Oh, so that's why Sin can't... So it negates AOEs also? That explains why... That explains why every time we'd go orange... Wait, really? So it negates AOEs and supers? <laughs> well, boys, as we're approaching the literal end of this tier list, we're learning a very fun Dokkan fact. If you go giant form, you're negating all super attacks and AOEs after. They can only normal attack you. There's just no way. I didn't know that. I, I didn't know that. No one's ever told me that. I, I am 100% sure. I love these niche Dokkan facts that are not anywhere in Dokkan. Can someone find me that in Dokkan? That, you know what? That's what I want right now. Can somebody find me that tip in Dokkan somewhere? Not on the wiki, not on a forum, but in the game. I'm so curious. They won't tell you it. Exactly. What the fuck, dude? That is so important to know. Why would they not tell you that, bro? This, uh, it was in some Dokkan now, I swear. <laughs> it's just a thing? Oh, sure, bro. It's just some fact that not everyone has to know. Bro, that is so huge. That is so, like, massive. Like, if you see uh, an insanely stacked first slot with all, like, AoEs or whatever, like, you know now you can... I know I can negate it now. What? Oh, man. That's... I'm sorry, but after playing for a year, that blew my mind, so... I'm sure someone out there will benefit from this knowledge. All giant forms cancel AoE attacks and supers. AKA, once your giant form ends with any giant form character, including Majunior, the enemy boss can only normal attack you. That's crazy for that turn. That's crazy. That's crazy.
only after at least two turns. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I understand what you're saying, Sal. Wait, wait, wait. This is important to this is important to clarify. So you're saying the giant form has to last two turns, though. <laughs> so, yeah. So like, Majunior, uh, best you are. <laughs> All right, I will admit Godku is not best skill-wise compared to these two. I will admit. I will admit. God, Goku's so good, though. Goku's so good, though. I'll admit Go Goku does need to build up. Thus, you know, some room for error, some room for holes. Whereas Majunior is just out the gate, just fucking ready to rock, dude. That is true. God damn it. God damn it. You guys are fucking convincing me. God damn it. I think this is it. I think we're locking in. I think we're locking in. As much as I... I'll be real. I'll take my high chance to guard with his stupid defense and then revives, etc. Over those those really potential chances of not getting your six key spheres. Hell, I've had the shitty situations after, what is it, six turns? Where I can't even get my three key spheres. It's happened before and that shit sucks, dude. So I'll admit, Godku does have his, you know, out of your control flaws, whereas Goku, it's out of your control, but you know what, I don't know what I'm saying, it's almost 3am, this is the tier list boys, this is it, year 7 is when I started, and with my knowledge I declare Chaditz the greatest unit in all of Dokkan, and Trunks the worst, oh I mean not greatest unit in all of Dokkan, greatest DFETUR, and Trunks the worst DFETUR. Well, and then Majunior as well.